Hello mga baby, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel, Bang Libak na ta! <laughs> Hello mga kabibig! Welcome back sa ating bagong YouTube channel. Ito ang pinakamaingay na YouTuber sa balat ng YouTube. Ako si Kabibig Maglebak, lebak na ta. With the evidence na ko po, trending itong si Kobe Santos Lim na nag-graduate sa University of California, Berkeley. College of Engineering. Iba ang kanyang atake sa kanyang speech na di Omano ay tungkol kay Pangulong Bongbong Marcos at sa di Omano daw na merong naganap na hindi maganda sa eleksyon. Nako po. Sa after niya, sabi niya, after graduation, I come home bringing what I've learned in Berkeley to aid in future's election so my country's democracy is not built on lies. Nako, iba din ang kanyang hatak, iba din ang kanyang hugot. Napanood niyo na ba ang video mga kabibig? Ay heto na. Heto na ang video at kayo na ang bahalang magbigay na inyong kuro-kuro kung talagang pinatatamaan niya ang gobyerno ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos kung pinatatamaan niya na meron fraud sa eleksyon na nangyari. Watch this video. Because many of our technologies today are prejudiced. For me, I think of the recent election in the Philippines, my home country. Two months after I got, got accepted to Cal, my country elected Ferdinand Marcos Jr., the son of our former dictator, as president. Using technology and social media algorithms, the Marcos family ran a grand misinformation campaign to rewrite history and rebrand his father's brutal regime. I grew up hearing the stories of survivors teachers, mentors, friends. And it broke my heart to see their stories twisted and forgotten. Marcus Jr. buried the truth and won by a landslide, no doubt with the help of brilliant engineers. But Berkeley taught me to use technology to fight back, to question, challenge, and reimagine. For one of my projects here in Cal, I analyze election data to find voter trends, pulling the numbers, consulting with election experts, and programming until late in the evening. I combined my findings, decades of my nation's history, and the stories I grew up hearing to find which groups of voters were more susceptible to misinformation. After graduation, I come home, bringing what I learned in Berkeley to aid in future elections so my country's democracy is not built on lies. Computers cannot fight for the truth, but we can. This is why we went to Berkeley. A little info about Kai Kobe Santos Lim. Kobe Santos Lim was born and raised in the Philippines. He has worked at software companies to solve pressing problems in our civil systems, such as in energy, transportation, and shipping, and aims to make these technologies more accessible and equitable, especially for the traditionally underserved. Yan daw ang kaniyang ano daw dito. Sabi din ni ano ni um, Kobe, if you want to build ethical technology that benefits mankind, you must first build ethical engineers. So doon na sinabi niya na after graduation, I come home bringing what I've learned in Berkeley to aid in future elections so my country's democracy is not built on lies. Computers cannot fight for the truth. But we can. As we venture out of Berkeley and begin to engineer the future, we may face an eth ethical dilemma and be tempted to take the easy road, keep our heads down, just do the work, and stay quiet. Don't. We build computers to do that. But us, we stand up, we speak out, we fight. Yan ang kanyang... 
speech tungkol sa ano sa engineering relating to um uh, tawag dito kung paano gamitin ang kanyang kurso so meron ding mga mga netes na talagang happy sa ginawang speech ni Kobe na talagang may pinatatamaan tama ang mga sinasabi niya tapos uh, meron din iba na mulat-mulat na ang mga Pilipino Sabi pa dito, saludo kami sa inyong tapang para isiwalat ang katotohanan. Yan ang mga sabi. Ito yung gusto ng sumigaw ng election fraud, pero ala siyang audience daw si Kobe. So the world may know. I hope the world will care. We need more this kind of youth who will hold on the church of truth. Bring it on, Kobe. O yan ang mga komento ng ilang netas yan. Talagang sinusuportahan si Kobe sa kanyang speech at kung ano ang kanyang gustong gawin. Now, meron na mga ilang netas yan ang nag-react sa ginawang speech ni Kobe. Ito pa. Um, grabe ka naman, Kobe. Hindi mo ba alam kung anong ibig sabihin ng misinformation? Si Mama Len Len mo, grabe yung misinformation. Persona ng grata ka dong sa Pinas. Kinahihiya ka namin. You're talking about history. You don't really know what is history sa Pilipinas. I pity you. Did Kobe graduate with honors? What a genius representing Philippines and declaring the real truth of corrupt election in the Philippines. Sabi pa ito, hindi porket graduate ka ng Berkeley means tama ka. If you're really bright and if you did extensive analysis of what happened to Lenny, then I'm sure you will realize that it's not misinformation that caused her to lose, but it's her packaging. Unfortunately, she allowed it. Papit siya. Yan ang komento ng ilang natasim. This Kobe guy is a computer engineer, so I'm hoping he can release white paper, read me, and source codes of his fraud findings. Else, he's just a same hoping his clown show will not give him land a job on top text in the valley. Congrats! Correct info, but delivered in a wrong place. Hala! Pake na mga listeners dyan. Balik ta rin natin. Si Biden sa isang university sa Pilipinas. Pake namin dyan. Ay! Palaban din ang mga BBM supporters. Delikadong hindi ka makapasok ng trabaho sa Pilipinas. Grabe mo namang galit na galit ka sa gobyerno at Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Pate sa international place. Talagang isiniwalat mo ang hindi totoo. Ay ako. You must first become a Filipino by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance to the Philippines flag and sing National Anthem in Tagalog, Kobe. Allah! This is proof that education is not necessarily a good and reliable source of information and knowledge. O, oh, diba? O, oh, eto pa. Kung matalino ka talaga, sana ma-research mo rin yung 53 years na panggugulo at pagpapatay ng mga rebelde sa Pinas at kung ano ang connection nila sa mga dilawan na sumulat ng kung anong alam mong history at mga kabalastugan nila. Bata mo pa boy, dami mo pang hindi alam. Baka ikaw mismo ang misinformed. How arrogant of you think of that 31.6 million who voted for the sitting president are wrong and those handful of you are right. <laughs> Let's say Marcos has cheated this election, for example. Why the landslide, though? Oh, tama. They could have won with just getting one vote more than their opponent. Oh, diba? Isa na naman itong kakamping na kung saan ay nagsasabi na kung hindi niya alam. Sorry, hindi mo talaga alam ang totoo. Kulang ka sa pag-aaral. Ano sasabihin ng tao sa'yo? Misinformed. Nakalimutan niyang siya ay Pinoy, ang unang Kobe na nakilala namin. At tubagin mo kung paano magtulungan ang, ang mga magulang mo, Kobe. Pag-graduate lang, clouded na ng vice ang future plan. Good luck sa'yo. The country is better without yokes like you. 
Uh, ba diba, mga kabibig? So, ano ang iyong komento tungkol dito mga kabibig sa video ni Kobe? Well, Kobe is just expressing what he wanted to say. Pero sabi na isang desen, maganda naman ang kanyang speech. Pero in a wrong venue. ba diba? So, ganun talaga ang buhay para... Gusto niya baka to express his emotions. Tapos at same time, kung paano makakatulong ang kanyang na-discover or napag-aralan. Oh, well, let's see kung paano ba yan, Kobe. And salute din kami sa iyo, Kobe. Kasi nakatapos ka dyan sa University of California, Berkeley. And sana magamit mo yung natutunan mo to explore more possibilities at makatulong ka sa bansa natin. Yan lang po mga kabibigan ng latest lending news. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Bye everyone. See you next time.